people back to with the videos on C language. Uh, as promised, I'm going to continue with the term works that are being listed for your uh, class. Uh, we have successfully completed around six term works uh, uh, in the previous videos. Um, today, I'll be taking the seventh term work. Okay, you should be knowing what sh what is the seventh term work. Okay, I'll write it out for y'all. Program. Okay, program to check. Right to check the entered uh, number is divisible okay is divisible it's a divisible uh, by uh, 7 and 11 okay uh, what does this mean program to check the entered number is divisible by 7 or uh, and 11 okay uh, so this is the question this is the problem definition okay let's try and understand the question first before we could actually start writing the program uh, we'll ask the user to enter a number and whatever the number the user is going to enter we'll have to check is that number should be divisible by 7 as well as 11 example 77 okay it is 77 is divisible by 7 7 11 are okay 77 and 11 as well uh, it is divisible by 11 as well 11 7 are 77 now what did you understand by this so any number if you divide it uh, by 7 and you get the remainder as 0 and if you divide the same number with 11 and you still get 0 then only you can say that it is divisible by both 7 as well as 11. Otherwise, it is not divisible by 7 and 11. So, this is the brief introduction of the question. In the sense, this is uh, uh, the problem definition and for which you are supposed to write the source code. Okay, let's start now. So, we have hash, include, right? stdio.h then we have void we have main correct then I have uh, what is that int I need a number I just need one number okay so I have uh, to clear because uh, I need to check whether that number is divisible by 7 and 11 so just accept a number only one variable clear the screen okay so printf slash n enter a number enter a number okay then scan f percentage d comma r percent i'm going to accept n then now the climax of the story comes in i need to divide it and check its remainder so what i'm going to say is if okay uh, when i divide the number i mean when i check the modulus after dividing it by 7 if it is equal to 0 and compulsorily when I divide the same thing and check its remainder to 0 with 11 okay it should give me 0 only then okay here I have written and and is supposed to be written as double ampersand sign okay so here if it is so if Bo uh, after dividing uh, if the remainder for both uh, is 0 right modulus is responsible for giving you the remainder okay so if it gives 0 then definitely without any second thought you can say percentage d is divisible by 11 and what's that you want to write 7 and 11 go by question so 7 and 11 okay comma i have n i have this else else printf i have printf slash n percentage d is not divisible okay if you get zero definitely if it is true if the condition turns true both the condition needs to be true only then the overall condition becomes true then the true part is executed else if one of the condition turns false or the overall condition has to turn false in that case 
then you are going to say it is not divisible by okay 7 and 11 okay here we go n is what we are supposed to print great so I haven't used the curly braces here I keep on repeating since you people are the beginners so quite obvious you need a, a regular instructions if you have only one statement to be executed if the condition is true then curly braces are optional even if it is false and you have multiple uh, if you do not have multiple statements then curly braces is optional okay here we go so this is uh, get ch and i'm going to end the program here i'm going to of course save this uh, file save as this is term work number term work number seven term work number seven dot c <coughs> okay now i'm going to run it control f9 right so i'll be writing 77 let's check it should say 77 oh uh, it's been written as ia it should be changed to is is 77 is divisible by 7 and 11 okay i need to change this to is okay great then i'll run this program again okay i'll enter uh, 56 so it says it is not divisible by 7 as well as 11 okay so this is the your term work number 7 please go through it if in case if you all have any queries uh, once we start with online classes you can post your questions also we will be creating the voice whatsapp group there as well you can post your questions we will definitely answer those questions okay <coughs> excuse me let's check which is the next program that i need to execute okay um which is the next program here we go okay uh, which is this okay this is done it says write a c program okay before we go for this i just want you all to go through uh, the the algorithm okay start read n if n modulus 7 is equal to 0 and n modulus 11 is 0 then this condition else this is going to get executed if has to have an end if then stop okay and the flow chart look at this here we are using the rhombus okay let me explain it start you're going to read the number correct then you're going to check so whenever you are checking the condition you are going to make use of an what you say the flow chart symbol which is rhombus decision making symbol what you call it as so if n modulus 7 is 0 and n modulus 11 is 0 this rhombus it will have one entry point and it will have two exit point why two exit point one for true and the other one is for false okay here how did I get to know that this is true and this is false? I need to exclusively label it. This is for true and this is for false. Okay. So, if it is true, you are going to say it is divisible by 7 and 11. If it is false, you are going to say that it is not divisible by 7 and 11. Ultimately, both have to meet at a point and it has to stop. Mind you, true, false need not be here only you can swap their position okay you can have this as false in that case this is going to come here if you say this is true then this is going to replace here so there is no hard and fast rule that here only we should have true or here we have to have false you can change their position but mind you any conditional statement whenever you are using a conditional statement and if that has to be uh, pictorically represented into the flow chart it has to be exclusively done into the rhombus symbol i mean to say the um, uh, decision making symbol which is represented using the geometrical figure rhombus okay then please do write down the conditions here here we have one entry point and definitely we are going to have two exit point okay ultimately both are going to meet at one point see if the condition true is turns true this path it takes to end up if the condition take uh, turns false 
this is the path that is going to take up and it's going to reach here as simple as that okay and we are going to have this is your source code which we have already written we have executed correct and we have two minimum two outputs been uh, displayed for that okay then right we are what what's the next term work let's check out write a c program to perform various arithmetic operation and here the question exclusively mentions that you need to take up a switch statement people please do see my previous videos i have used both if as well as switch statement but if the question says if the question was only write a c program to perform various arithmetic operations right then you could have used uh if statement or switch statement but if you would have um if they specify then definitely you'll have to go by that uh, itself okay here they have said switch statement is supposed to be used so you need to go by switch statement okay so here we go this is your algorithm start you have to read two numbers this is the menu that has been displayed we are asking the user to enter the choice if the choice is 1 do this break if the choice is 2 do this break this continues default is invalid choice and here we end the switch and here we stop let's check out the flow chart yes here we go start okay here it's gone wrong here you are supposed to say read n1 okay it should be n1 and n2 here it's been draw uh, uh, it's been entered wrong mind you please check read n1 this is this n1 okay n1 and n2 has to be read okay very good then we have this okay we have uh, we have to display the menu and then we'll ask him to use enter the uh, ch okay then we are going to check if the case is one that is if he is entered addition then we are going to add it okay uh, print the addition then okay respective choice then here we have the stop okay so this is your um, flow chart and here we have the source code for it i have already executed so there is no point in executing it okay so next what do we have we have some program okay let's check out what is that it says write a c program to check the person is eligible to vote or not okay so i am going to write this program and then get back to this uh, particular word file okay okay fine so let's go back uh here right so i'll enter to maximize it okay let me open up a new file for you <coughs> new f i to maximize what is the program 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 to find the person okay is eligible to vote or not okay this is the question okay see before we write a program please try and understand the question gather the information that is required okay being a citizen of india what is that we uh, to uh, what is that we require to be eligible for uh, to vote okay uh, you need to be more than 18 in age okay uh, your age should be more than 18 18 or more than 18 you can be 18 and you can be or you can be more than 18 as well very importantly he should be an indian okay he should be an indian so these are the two parameters that we need to check if both the parameters are true if they are uh, standing true only then that person is eligible to vote else that person is not eligible to vote okay so what is that we are going to do so let's set uh, start to write a program hash include std i o dot h i have void i have main then i have int i need age 
definitely yes okay then i am going to say character nat what is this nat nationality okay i have a bit of explanation to be given here when you declare the variable as nat it will accept only one character when i say character i mean to say all the 256 characters what the keyboard will help you to enter in, into the computers okay all the 256 characters what <coughs> the computer can recognize right so now i have nat so i can enter only one character so definitely the question can be ma'am if at all i have to say uh, indian then how can it be one character it has to be the complete i n d i a n indian so why you are restricting it to nat i mean only one character how we are going to do okay uh, answer to this question is i will write the program in a different way let's check out how i'm going to write okay um so i'm going to clear the screen i'm going to clear the screen and here i'll say printf i'll say printf slash n enter okay uh, name is not required so i'll directly go to h okay enter h right so scanf percentage d comma ampersand i'm going to accept the age right then i'm going to say please watch what is that i'm going to write only then you will understand it <coughs> print f are you are you indian what do you expect the user to enter either y or n yes or no so um it's going to be a single character right so i'll write here i'll exclusively mention capital y or even he can enter small y or capital n or small n so he need to enter it correct so uh, here we go then we will say scan f we will say percentage c watch this i'm accepting a character comma ampersand i've taken it as nat right so now how to check hmm? if age is greater than or equal to 18 he can be greater or he can be equal to 18 and what is mandatory and is supposed to be written like this and nat is equal to it should be he should say yes na he may enter capital or he may enter small character okay he may enter small character that's why i have used here or okay of the two condition he may enter either y or capital y or small he will enter one of them okay and this one and this should both both should be true only then you can say print f print f slash n eligible to vote okay great eligible to vote else else print f slash n not eligible to vote not eligible to vote get ch next i have this great okay save this which is the term work tw7 dot c of course no this is not seventh one this is going to be 7 uh, 8 ninth one okay 9 dot c okay enter control f9 okay age okay let me write my age 45 uh, okay look at this people are you indian it is not waiting for me to enter the value it has skipped that okay have i written a scanf statement i need to check yes i have written 
but still it is not waiting to take up this character why let me run it again age suppose 33 still it is not waiting so in such situation what i want you to do is f flush okay s t s t d i n please watch this now i will execute it i'll write some age are you indian it's waiting actually it is not mandatory only when the buffer is the keyboard buffer is full it will skip that it usually happens when you are entering a character so do one thing people just write f flush s t d i n if required now i'll say why so it says eligible to vote okay so this is how you are supposed to accept you may ask me you may ask me why is that you have written capital y and small y whereas here you are just written it as 18 this doesn't have a case okay capital letters and small letters well when comes to alphabets it has a case capital letters and small letters you never know the user may enter a capital y or small y so i need to be very cautious to check what is the data that the person is going to use the second question that could uh, uh, you know um, prompt uh, is that why didn't you take i n d i a n indian the complete word okay so if it is a complete word if it is more than one character then we no longer call it as a character but we call it as a string so how to work with the string is not the right time to be discussed that's the very reason i have explained it this way hope i am clear now let's go back to this journal of mine okay okay we have accepted uh, you know uh, name if you want you can accept it right so age right this is how you are going to check greater than 18 and this here it should be it should just a sec or or right nationality is why eligible to vote else not look at this look at this this is the flow chart next this is the code source code and we have the output for it okay so this is the output next i think uh, the 10th term work is write a c program to check the entered alphabet is vowel or consonant this is the program i have already written i have written it in both the you if cond using the if condition as well as switch statement so it's been executed and displayed in one of the uh, videos please go through that okay this is your 10th term work okay this is the flow chart okay if you know this is the condition if true and if false okay and this is your program this is your program here we have two sample outputs okay i think we have one more program to go uh, in the term work under the selection type of program construct because um, yeah this is also one more program which i have already executed write a c program to check the entered the entered character is alphabet digit or special character okay here we go right if the ascii code is between 48 to 57 it is a digit correct if it is between 65 to 90 or 97 to 122 it is an alphabet using the ascii codes <coughs> use without using the ascii codes i have written choice is yours how you would like to write okay this is the flow chart this is the flow chart you can see this this is a flow chart you read a character you are checking whether it is an alphabet yes then it is an alphabet if it is false you check it for a digit else it has to be a special character okay this is your source code i told you how to write a program using this ascii code and without using the ascii code because sometimes we forget the ascii codes so um, it's better you should know how to write a program without using the ascii code Uh, but still if you want to know what is the ascii code i have written a second term work wherein you can find out the ascii code for any character right so this is your 
11th term work. The next term work what we have is on the looping program construct. But before that, definitely we need to, um, you know, uh, we we have to uh, understand what you mean by looping. What are the various looping constructs that are available? Only then you will be in a position to write. Okay. Uh, this we are going to dis definitely discuss into our next video. Till then, please take care. Stay safe. Thank you, people.